Hey YouTube, this is none other than The Undertaker. Yeah, I know, hard to believe, right? But here I am, back at you again <laughs> with another video. Okay, so seeing as Strikers is going on for free in the PS Plus, and new players are going to start pouring in like a wildfire, I decided to bring to light something that I hear being like not talked about a lot, and people aren't really understanding what it means, and that is still card duplicating. For those that haven't played it, it was a huge resource in the previous Persona 5, as in Royale and the, you know, the original one. To duplicate powerful skill cards since it was the easiest way to get specific skill cards, by far, with little or no effort. However, a quick Google search will reveal players justified this approval of the removal of use case duplicate ability due to this game's very unique nature. After all, having a guy that just duplicates your skill cards infinitely for nothing but a handshake is just a little bit unfair, but at the same time, skill cards are so hard to get in this game and they're such a hassle too. Just uh, just a handful, just like two skill cards can take up to 20 minutes to get. And that's for the good ones, right? For like the drains. So you can't really duplicate skill cards traditionally, right? Um, big one. But you still have a way to use them so efficiently that it's not gonna matter. And that's what this video is for. So the basic idea of the technique, the premise if you will, is to use one skill card on a persona and then duplicate it by fusing. So you would have two uses off of one skill card. Obviously, we're not gonna just use the skill card three times. That is ridiculous and not even close to as good as duplicating. But you know, this that's just this very simple baby concept. And this is where people would just close up shop, or just sign, sign the autograph, video's over, one minute, done. However, a lot of people don't really like understand what it means to be able to get it through fusion, understand the power that they behold with that technique. So here's a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how to like use them really good and efficiently. First, you're gonna need a duplicating persona or a cow persona if you will, for the sake of milking it. And that will start the chain reaction that will cause the skill card side to duplicate. So here's how you make it. Now, I know what you're thinking because I would think the exact same thing. But just, you don't have to tell me, you can trust me on this one. Wow, get your skill cards, next you're gonna tell me to inhale oxygen, that's real progressive. But trust me, you're going to really want to think about your decision and what you're doing. So this is a really high committal procedure, it's basically like surgery because you know how personas like, you know how personas like chess? Yeah, so it's basically like um, something that takes six years of medical study to achieve. Um, but in, in all seriousness, it is it, it is really high committal what you're doing. Whatever skill cards you decide to throw in there, you're going to maybe lose them permanently if you don't do the procedure right. Or if you just do it like fucking around, you're gonna mess something up and you're gonna have to delete a skill card that you don't really want to delete. So, best case, you just want to prepare, get ready for the worst, and like really think about what you want to put in before you start like going gun ho on it. Because it's not something you just mess around with. So, um, worst case scenario, you can just save before you do anything. That is very recommendable. That way, whatever you do, you can just delete and, uh, you know, not have to worry about the consequences. But then again, the consequences that you lost your time. So just really think about what you're doing. If you prepare a persona, you don't plan on using it yet. Now, this doesn't mean that you're never going to see them again, or that the procedure render will render the persona useless, but the chances for the persona being valuable after you give it the skill cards, it is very highly low, because they're not meant to be used after the procedure. So just be prepared to never use it again, just in case. It could be any persona you want, really. Any persona works. Preferably, and ideally, one from the first jail. For example, Jack-O-Lantern, Pixie, Bicorn, Gourmia, McCoy, Serve Wonders. The earlier in the game, the better, since this makes the steps easier, and they suck anyway, so you won't really miss them that much. Put this on! Right now! I know it sounds strange, but you have to do it! Now all you have to do is put the skill cards you meditated on, on the persona of your choice, to become the duplicating persona. It doesn't really matter, and the steps should go by quickly since you should have already thought of what you were going to do before you did it. Um, side note, when you inspect the persona in the persona menu, each persona has a pool filled with the original skills that they were taken away slash lost. Um, for example, Pixie has um, her Sayo and her Dia, and no matter what happens to the Pixie, whenever you open up the skill menu, you can just pull it out and get Zio and Dia whenever you want, because those are the basic pool for that Pixie. 
With this pool, you can just pull back specific cards and you can replace them indefinitely forever, right? That is just basically infinite duplication, but with very specific skills. Overriding a skill from a skill card using a skill from the skill pool will permanently remove the skill and will effectively destroy any skill card you use to give it the skill. So, you can give a persona a skill card and replace it with a skill from the pool thinking it's just gonna go back to lost and found. That You can't. You really can't. And you shouldn't because I've tried. After you're satisfied, register the persona in the compendium. This will allow you to get as many copies as you want the persona for a substantial fee. This works for future duplications, but if you're somehow, for some reason, only gonna do the duplicating once, or just want the Persona back, this step is really not that necessary. Congratulations! Now that you have your completed duplicate Persona, it's time to duplicate the skill using the average YouTube commentator's worst enemy, Critical Thinking. OH MY GOODNESS! From here, things peak in terms of complexity, but that's just because you must think this time. You, have to, you actually have to consider the following. First, pick the persona you'd like to transfer the skill to. Next, find a fusion path where your duplicate persona and the persona of your choosing meet. Then, follow the fusion path. Finally, register the resulting persona and enjoy your duplicated skill. Now, that did sound like mouth jabbering, and that's because it was, but I'll explain it real fast in a comprehensive video. Okay, so now you reach the unscripted part of the video. This is the part where it all it all goes downhill. But it's fine, it's just a short section. The mic quality might have dropped, but it's fine. We'll, we'll fix it in post. It'll, it'll just be like a normal thing. Okay, so following my own steps, just to make sure that I have my own logic right, I'm going to begin by um, getting the skill cards. But the thing is, I, I already know what skill cards I'm gonna use, so I'm just gonna gloss over them, make sure I have them, after that, I just get my throwaway persona. Okay? For the instances of this video, I'm going to create a Jack Frost. Uh, I mean, a Jackal. Um, and after that, all I would have to do is register the persona, so it would be part of my deck, and then just go go on to town with the actual part that is complicated. Um, for the sake of this experiment, I did not save. So anything I do will have no consequence. So when you see me sell a Lucifer for a Jack O' Lantern, it's not because it's not because I'm mentally disabled, okay? It's because it doesn't really matter. Okay. So first of all, I would like to transfer the Drain Bless to Lucifer, and you know I have every single Drain skill except for Null Ice, which is why I haven't done this in the past. This is my first time hands-on experience, so it will be a new experience for the both of us. We're just gonna figure this out together. Okay. So, I have Lucifer, right? Now, all I have to do, following my own logic, is to find a link in between Lucifer and jack o -Lantern. And after I find that, I have to follow the fusion path and then enjoy my persona. Please, so, take your time. Lucifer fuses into a multiple of personas, but coincidentally, it just so happens that it fuses into Black Frost. And you know what also fuses into Black Frost? jack o -Lantern. So, Easy. I just fuse Jack O' Lantern into Black Frost, and I remain the skill Drain Bless. The other ones matter if you really need them, but if you don't, you can just put in whatever you want. Um, and after that, you fuse them, you get them together, and after you get the Black Frost, you get a Lucifer. And after you get that Lucifer, since it, since it was fused using the Black Frost you just got with Drain Bless, the Lucifer will also get Drain Bless. And that's a really easy way and process. Now both now both Jack Black Frost, Jack o Lantern, and Lucifer have Drain Bless, which is great. And that's a really easy way to duplicate skill cards. But still don't believe me, even though you just saw it, fine. I can I can accept it. I can also live in ignorant bliss. It's fine. Um now what I want to do is give the for just for just for the sake of just for funsies. Just for funsies, you know. We're gonna give Jack Frost Drain Fire. Now, this is a little bit more complicated because there is no direct fusion from what's this called? Jack o Lantern to Jack Frost. But what we can easily do is create one. So, what fuses into Jack Frost? 
well, you can use a very limited amount of personas. But one thing I noticed was High Pixie. High Pixie is a, per a persona with a very high gene pool. And by gene pool, <laughs> I'm just being science. I, I, I'm just being scientific. Um, it, it just means that it can fuse with a lot of personas, and it's really easy to find a chain using um, High Pixie. Okay, so now that we only have High Pixie, what what can we use with High Pixie that can make a link to Jacqueline. I noticed that there is, you can create a high pixie using a black frost, which is very fortunate because a black frost is created by using a jack-o'-lantern as we did before. So it's a little bit complex to turn a jack-o'-lantern into a black frost to then turn it into a high pixie to then turn it into jack frost. But that's just the kind of thing you have to do in order to get to the certain steps and the certain connections that you need to make in order to do this exchange. That's what you have to think about it. That's what you really have to rationalize. So after you do that, you would have to, um, in all the steps laid out, you would have to get a jack-o'-lantern, then fuse it into a black frost, then destroy it to go down to a high pixie. Then after that, you transfer all the skills that you want from those three, and you put it into your jack frost. And there we made the connection, and we have our jack frost with drain fire one thing i did learn while doing the actual process is that the amount of skills you can transfer will round down to the lowest a persona can transfer for example in that exchange the one we just did um black frost could have received about like four skills i think i'm doing this from memory um Pink, high pixie could have received two and jack frost could have received um two so in all those, the lowest number of transferable skills are the amount of skills you can gain. Because no matter where it is, you can only transfer two skills from one person. For example, if it was four, one, and five, then you would have to transfer four over, but then you can only transfer one. Then from there, you would only be able to transfer one and one and one and one. Doesn't really matter. This actually makes the process very interesting because it means that finding the most efficient path is key. Especially since making more fusions would just make you waste more money. When you have easier ways of doing it, why go for the harder one? You should look for the ones that take the least amount of personas, money, time, and resources, and focus on that. That's the interesting part. Really thinking about your options and picking the best one after really considering it. Which I personally think is satisfying, and a really good feature about this game. I am very certain that every single persona connect to every single other persona. What do I mean by this? You can start from any persona and reach any persona because they all link together in some sort of way. And that is a guarantee. I don't have any evidence. I don't have any proof. The best proof I can give you is that Lucifer, the highest persona, fuses into a pixie, which is the lowest persona, which means it would just rotate around either way. That is the biggest proof I have. I haven't done a skill tree to show you, like, physically, okay, so this transfers to that, and since everything transfers to this, it has a connection. I can't really prove it. You can feel free to waste your time and do that. I'm going to do it in the future, but uh, no, that's just too much of a time investment for me. But you do have all the resources to figure it out, so... Happy camping, soldier. Um, with, with that all said, though, there is, every single persona has uh, a connection. There's no way that no, some persona will have no connection. You just have to really dig deep and find it. It just depends on the case. And that's about all I can give without going into very specific situations. I feel like that's enough information for you to deduce for yourself and really, like, let your brain shine. <laughs> just figure the rest out for yourself, man. This is more than enough information that you need to few skill cards indefinitely. So I hope this changes the meta. I hope this um, educates people into fusing more efficiently and uh, with wasting as little resources as possible, um, enable skill card duplication and makes people grind less for like 20 minutes on a boss fight to get like two skill cards that might not even be good by chance. Um, I feel like it'll really revolutionize the meta. Um, so yeah, you're gay, smile.